All right. So our goal during our keyboard lab is to go through this packet I have of 12 pieces of music. Now, I'm not expecting us to go through the entire thing. This is something you can bring home afterwards. But I'm going to show you that it's split up into three different sections. And I had a video where I described this already. So this video is to be going over section one. And that's going to be all the songs in the beginning, which there's four of them, that only uses your right hand. Your right hand is going to be something that you use a lot on piano as far as playing melodies. playing harmonies. Of course, you can do the same thing with your left hand, but for the most part, the right hand plays the higher notes and left hand plays the lower notes. So if we open up our packet, the first song we get to is very well known, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it shows you actually with a little keyboard how to play it. So the biggest thing with the right hand songs, your thumb for the right hand has to always be on a C note. So find that C note, get your hand used to doing the one, two, three, four, five, with your fingers. Definitely position your body so that it's comfortable. Generally the C note here, your belly button should line up with it. And uh, yeah. So it's going to be right here because in your left hand, eventually it's going to rest on another C. So I have my right hand here, and here is Mary Head of the Lamb. It starts with my third finger, which is my middle finger. to make sure in this piece of music that when you after you play the first part right there you have to hold it and then you hold it here that means holding your finger down right there and the ending has a very long note you have to hold it like that and to prove it, it's right there. The largest note we have in music, it's called a whole note. So that's Mary Had a Lamb. It used only three of my fingers. The next piece in the first section is called Eau Claire de la Luna, which is French, that means by the silvery moonlight. And it is another song that has only three fingers. And once again, right hand goes on right thumb goes on the C and you're in C, they call the C position. And here is that piece. Now in this piece, we have a lot of, we have a couple uh, notes to hold. We have notes in this part. We have at the end of each one of these parts, we have a long note to hold with a thumb. So to go over it again, hold, hold, hold for a long time. Hold is a good word to mention when you're holding something down. You can use it for string instruments, kind of like keyboard, but I'm holding down the key, and that's what I mean by that. So on to the third piece for the first section, a tisket, a tasket. This uses all of your fingers in your right hand. And this starts on your pinky because it has something called a pickup note. The same thing if you're singing happy birthday and everyone goes happy. And when you say birthday, everyone comes in and sings together. So here we go, starting with my pinky. And here we go.
Now this is a few notes to hold in it. And I'll point those out. Hold, hold, hold. That's the third piece. Now the last piece in the first section, the last right hand only piece, Beethoven's Ode to Joy. This uses all the fingers and this starts on the middle finger. So I got my hand in C position, my right hand in C position with my right thumb on C. It starts on the third finger. two holds in this, so I'll play it one more time and I'll show you where those are. Hold. Hold. Alright, so that's the first part. Practice these. This is going to be the first chance to get a prize. <laughs>